Warning, this podcast contains Barbara. And, and spoilers. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the As Seen on TV podcast for Gotham Season 1, Episode 11, Rogues Gallery. I'm your host, Dom. With me is not Barbara, a.k.a. I am not Cleo. Barbara, because I'm a person. You are. Hello, Barbara. <laughs> uh, down below is John. No, I'm Barbara. <laughs> We're all Barbara today. And filling in for Barbara, a.k.a. Nikki, a.k.a. Omikins, is the one, the only, Pichelle. Hello. Barbara. A.k.a. <laughs> the two-headed Barbara. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pat and Michelle. This podcast is already off to a great start, by the great. way. Great. Great start. Yeah. Yep, we, yep, yep, yep. we went all of episode 10 without seeing Barbara once. Zero, zero times seeing Barbara. That's great. not, no, we saw... Didn't we? No, didn't we? no, we saw her at the end of episode nine, and then we didn't see her at all in episode. We 10. didn't see oh. her. Yeah. Just so, good. so here we are now. You know, episode eleven, coming back from the the mid season break, the winter break, whatever you want to call it. Totally hoping not to see Barbara, and and what did they do? They shoved Barbara right in our face. Here you go. Oh no! Here she is. I wanted to see Barbara because, listen. I feel like Go ahead, no. <laughs> there has there has to be more. Like I refuse to believe that she's just a shell. I mean, all right. So we we see we see Barbara here, right? She's she's with Renee, and uh, they're they're having you know sexy fun time in bed and yes. whatever. And then Renee comes in with the the cup of coffee, you know, to try to like break the news easily to her. It's like terrible, terrible. Um, Barbara's never gonna be able to look at coffee the same way again. Like I, I almost felt bad for Barbara. Almost, <laughs> almost. I, I thought about it for like a, a, a second. For a moment, and then you're no, because like, eh. as soon as she's like extra sweet, you remember it. I was just like, <gasps> <laughs> I kind of feel bad for the coffee. <laughs> you kind of feel bad, bad for for I what? I felt bad for the coffee. It had to be in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, coffee had to be ordered for her ass. <laughs> 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 That yeah. cup was as empty as her head. That was the best part. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it was a prop cup. It was a prop. The Barbara yeah, hate well, continues. Barbara's a prop with it nothing does. in it. So, <laughs> And it's not biodegradable either. I mean, the part that, that got me was when she she's like, no, don't. Just save it. You know, I'm leaving. Get You know, whatever. And she's like, no, no, no I'll leave. She's like, all right, get out. Whatever. So then she's like sitting around. She's all like somber and feeling lonely and whatever. So she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna call Jim because obviously I fuck things up and uh, you know I don't know what I want." But let me call Jim and see how he's doing. And you know we we get Poison Ivy answering the phone and I love it. It's like I'm like, oh no, oh no. They are they took Barbara's relationship with Jim to a place where I don't know how they're going to come back from. And then, and then, just when you think there's a way for them to come back, they just take it's a knife just... and further twist it, and it's just like there's no coming back now. Like I, I don't understand no, how they not. can they can justify this now. It's 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 past the point of no return. But I mean, Barbara was clearly the entire time she was with Montoya thinking about Jim because she was hiding her phone under her pillow, waiting for Jim to call. It's true. She doesn't know what she wants. Yeah, but she's waiting for Jim to call while she's, like, you know, scissoring it. None, none that, that's shit. exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> she just doesn't know what she wants. The woman's, she's just she wants to himself. Right. <laughs> you know how great he's going to be like, oh, yeah, that's all right, baby. You were with another chick. It's cool. No. And that's, I think yeah, that I is just the do all the drugs. problem that I have with Barbara is that she's a bisexual character on a TV show and they're portraying her bisexuality terribly. Like they she's, they're portraying it like yeah. she doesn't know what she wants, but bi that's not what bisexuality is. Exactly. No. Yeah, and exactly. she's also like really way into drugs. 
and yeah. that's not great either for that's that yeah, role. But I mean, that's, I yeah, mean no, that, that, that explains but... quite a bit of her personality there, is if they portrayed that she was on drugs <laughs> all the time, but we don't see her really engaging in the action ever. No, well, we just hear about her being on With, like, the pill bottle that yeah. was next to the bed in the episode. You right. Know. But it's stuff that you could easily, as a casual viewer, miss. Like, I usually pay attention to detail. I miss the pill bottle. I don't know why, but I missed it. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was on the it was on the nightstand. I noticed. Yeah, I was like, oh, drugs. Yeah. Yeah. Not only was there one pill bottle standing upright, closed on the nightstand, but there was one pill bottle open, spilled. Oh, there was one that was spilled. Mm. So there were two yeah. pill bottles on her. It's just like yeah. What? So. But I mean, true. there are characters who suffer from drug and alcohol addictions that have depth to them. Right. Barbara has, like, no depth. She's, yeah. There's nothing there. I mean, there. Lee, Look, Lee Silver in chat here. Cool. Lee Silver in chat here is saying, a single woman can't tell the difference when a 12-year-old is on the phone. And, I mean, that, that may... I, I don't want to stick up for Barbara, but that may be the drugs, you know? I mean, that's true. That is very true. I don't... Yeah. It could be the schizophrenia age. from the drugs. I don't think it's the actual drugs when she was on them. It's true. She's got problems. <laughs> but they're like problems with no base. Like we we can see no base of Barbara, so we right. don't we know don't why. But there story. is there is some trouble. Yeah, there there's yeah. You know what? Um, I can't <laughs> punch you through the camera. <laughs> like it just she aggravates the living hell out of me because it's like, oh look, I'm bi, so that means I'm just gonna be a dick and sleep with everything. Woo! Yeah. Like, no, no, that's it's not. It's like she just doesn't. She doesn't make sense, like in it's any like, no facet. No. It, it just, I don't. Listen, Barbara, we need to have an intervention. <laughs> in that, you leave this earth and never come home. She you just, just, you just never come. Into the, she doesn't fit into the show. I'm still hoping. No. I'm still hoping I, that she. I told this to John. I told this to my parents. I was like, the show. Most of the characters, I mean, there, there's some evidence of bad writings, yeah. a little bit, but, like, most of, for the most part, this is a well-written show with good characters, with depth. It's like, the writers wrote the whole show and left Barbara's lines blank. It just had a monkey shit on it. Yeah. And those <laughs> they, are Barbara's lines. They so gave her lines to, like, a, a two-year-old child and was like, here, you, you write her lines. You write for Barbara. <laughs> That's just it. It's like, oh, oh wait, we should throw on the side like love romance with Gordon. Oh, oh, okay. oh crap! We, we forgot about Barbara. Quick, somebody oh, write right. something. All Here right. Here we go. Yeah, which you know, it, on the other hand, like we we are seeing even brand new characters jumping in the show. We we got introduced to uh, Leslie Tompkins, um, you know, in Arkham Asylum here, and um, Lee oh, Silver I, saying in chat that he I, thinks I, she's a better love interest than Barbara right now, and I have yeah, to agree. I, I, Oh, I yeah. You want to know why? She's a person. <laughs> and I'm like, an Jim? Written person. Jim, have you met Leslie? Leslie, Jim? Leslie, Jim. Could we... Make a uh, date with Barbara? Perhaps a date? <laughs> Forget yeah. Barbara? <laughs> yeah. Well, this one actually you know, has a set of brains. All right. She Brown does. She's got her head on her shoulders. She knows what she's doing. She, you know, she's, she's very well collected and you know she I don't know she just it she's adds, got herself together their connection it just she's adds, a doctor yeah. Barbara why can't you be a doctor like Leslie <laughs> your art gallery's not doing well I don't understand what do you do for a living I'm Go sorry we, I swear we'll I'm stop gonna, talking about Barbara now <laughs> I'm gonna change the name of our Gotham <laughs> podcast it's no longer going to be Gotham episode 11 rogues gallery it's gonna be we it's hate be Barbara Gotham. Episode 11. <laughs> Welcome Rogue's to Gallery. the Barbara Hate Train. All yeah. bored. Choo choo. Where's my whistle? <laughs> yeah, where is your whistle? There it is. There we go. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but in the. So we, we meet Leslie Tompkins. In the comics, uh, she's a family friend of the Waynes. Uh, she knows about Bruce's secret being Batman. Uh, she disapproves of it. You know, she fixes him up almost on a nightly basis. So. <laughs> You know, um... Things that Alfred can't fix up. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, I don't think, uh, uh, Wayne, uh... Bruce wants, uh... You know, um... Alfred caressing his inner thigh or anything like that. So that, that's what Leslie's for. I really don't think so. 
<laughs> well, you, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Bruce could be Bruce. No. Speaking of uh, Arkham Asylum, what did you guys think of... This is our first real look into it. What would you guys think of the way it was portrayed? Awesomely. Well, I thought it was done well done. Yeah, A good. derelict, terribly run, insane asylum. That, so that's really what makes it great. awesome, right? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's like, it's perfect. Oh, it was awesome. The was inmates so cool. are running the asylum. Yeah. yeah. More really. or less. Really. You know, because we, we get Nurse Duncan. She's kind of like our red herring villain of yeah. uh, this episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And apparently she's been staying in the asylum this whole time. Like, while the place was condemned and closed down, she's been living there. Yeah. And, you know, what does that say <laughs> for the staff that just comes in and is just like, oh, yeah, here's a nurse that's just here working now? Well, I mean, she was working <laughs> with Jim, who is new. Right. So. But she was also working with the boss. I forget his name. What was the yeah, boss's no. name? Uh, Larry. Director Dr. Lang, Larry. Director Dr. Lang. Lang. Director Dr. Lang. Yes. He... Like, he spoke to her directly, and she goes, oh, no, no, it's my fault. That that play that we put on was was a little uh, too emotional or whatever. Yeah. Like, she but spoke yeah. to him. He knew she that's was working there. That's not too dark. It was too that's dark. That's not uncommon for the inmates to put on a show. So, but, but what is confusing is she was in the male ward. Right. Well, we... Unless she's transgender, and then... I don't know. I'm going too deep into it. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you are. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> yeah, I think you are. I think you're, I it's, but we don't know much about Arkham Asylum. All we know was that there is, in fact, a female ward, which we didn't see. Um, and the only guards that they have are six male guards. That's it. That's, that's the entire staff for Arkham Asylum right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff going on. Look, you know, the, the big, uh, riot, you know, that broke out during the play. We had mm. the prison break later that was because of the riot the keys got you know switched and it's all you know which revealed to be um jack gruber is is the the big villain oh he's so cool Sorry. he is yep. he's amazing I love his the way he works Electrocutioner. and yeah and i really liked that um he he carried on like he we're we even saw in the previews for when when the he's show comes back in, in two yeah. weeks yeah the next one. he will be back which we don't really get to see a whole lot of here in Gotham. Yeah, so that far. hasn't happened no. yet. No, you know? it's been right. the villain of the week. Yeah, outside of now you know the the penguin over. and the mob bosses and stuff, we don't have a, a well, recurring Zaz, villain. Zaz did get away, but he hasn't come back yet. So. Right, right. Yeah, so Gruber's the first one to actually pull this off, and Hans um, Gruber. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught during the. Uh, prison escape attempt, uh, there was a very distinct Joker laugh uh, in there? that scene. There was. So there's there's right. little nods to the Joker still being thrown around in the show, which is, is really cool. <laughs> which, uh, but he, I mean, he would have to be really young. Maybe. We, when he it, fights it's Batman, not necessarily he him. His own. It's not necessarily him, but it's just the, the yeah, laugh. Was, like, a, you know, you know, like a homage to yeah, him coming. Yeah, an yep. homage. An homage. Homage. Um, awesome. I got these <laughs> But Jack, Jack's <laughs> really cool. And face. I looked into, you know, some research on the, the comics. There's actually no direct comic book character named Jack Ruber. Um, there, in the preview for next week, we see that, that um, Nigma uh, named him the Electrocutioner. Who, mm -hmm. in the comics, there is an Electrocutioner. Uh, yeah. The other electricity-based villain from the comic books is Volt, so it could yeah, even be some cross-hybrid pollination between the two of them. That's um, possible. Yeah. But there is another big theory running around that he could be the precursor to the ventriloquist. Um, oh. And in uh, mm -hmm. in which we see uh, Aaron Helsinger, right? the the patient there that he's got like controlled and whatever. Yep. Yeah. In mm -hmm. the comics, there's there's um, a guy named uh, Amygdala, right? yeah. and he is a super strong, mentally unstable villain, prone to fits of violent rage. Um, oh. An Arkham doctor removed his Amygdala from his brain to try to calm him down, uh, but had, had the complete opposite effect, um, and made it 
so he could not have the mental capacity to control his emotion uh, and his reactions and stuff. So it basically triggered everything to be a ve- very big violent outburst. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so if that is who Aaron Helsinger ends up being, mm. um, it really sets Jack up to be not only the electrocutioner, which is only named because Nigma's calling him that, mm-hmm. um, or if he's really the ventriloquist here. Mm-hmm. So, I think... Uh, yeah, Nigma's no Cisco when it comes to naming villains. He's not. He's not. He needs to go <laughs> on the Flash and, and learn how to start naming villains. But The Balloon Man! <laughs> yeah, the Balloon <laughs> Man. That, that was a great villain. The Balloon... Oh, hey, I liked him. I did it was like a good him. episode. I did. I felt bad for him. Sorry. <laughs> This is a really good episode. Yeah, like he's trying to do good. <laughs> I felt bad for him. I've, I've honestly, I've loved every episode of this show except for the pilot. I thought the pilot fell a little flat. So, mm-hmm. well, sometimes shows take a little bit. Like, of course. yeah. I mean, I saw the potential in the pilot. Yes. So that's that's why I kept going from there and didn't completely shut it off. But um, so we we get a little bit of uh, Selena, aka Catwoman here, right? We we see her just kind of like lurking around, which. Stum- she stumbles onto Ivy, mm-hmm. um, which Ivy just happened to mention that she was a vegan, just to kind of throw out the plant references to us even further. Yeah, you know, just to, well, I mean, to really solidify that she's poison Ivy, and I you know. don't eat anything that casts a shadow. <laughs> I'm a level seven vegan. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's that's kind of the the blatant in our face kind of stuff that they're still giving, but. I mean, it was kind of casual at the same time. Mm-hmm. If, if you want to look at it in terms of some of yeah. the other blatant things that they gave us, this one was yeah. pretty casual. Yeah. No, I agree. It wasn't bad. You know, it's it's not like Edward Nigma being like, hey guys, I like riddles. <laughs> 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 Have you heard this riddle before? <laughs> is that actually a riddle? a riddle? And that uh, does, yeah. You know, you know what, Pat? I just had a thought. I don't yeah. know why, but just randomly... Popped into my head. Uh, I was thinking about Barbara again, and uh, you you know who's got more? How could you not? It, right, you know who's got more character development than Barbara? Enigma, wacky inflatable arm flailing tube man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wacky inflatable arm flailing tube man. Yes. Wacky wavy inflatable arm flailing tube man. <laughs> wacky wavy like. Because at least he can get your attention in a good way. Actually, you Lee. Know, Lee like, Silver saying in chat, Barbara was originally supposed to be an ER doctor. Well, like, fuck that one up. I'm not going yeah. to that hospital. Yeah. yeah. I, just, yeah. I just don't know what to do right now. That's you not just, has, you just get stitches, from. Barbara. I just don't know. I'm too stressed out. Now Barbara, that's where we, she get all the drugs from. Uh, Barbara, all you did was pull his <laughs> IV out. You just put a Band-Aid over it. That's you it. Just, I, that's all you have to do. I just, I just, I'm toxic. I, I can't... <laughs> I guess I'm toxic. Everything I touch falls apart. (laughs) No, that's where she got got all the drugs from. She's getting uh, high off. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Not wrong. (laughs) Never. She's definitely, that's the only valid statement that's ever come out of her mouth. (laughs) So. She is akin to arsenic. Great. (laughs) But, so we had, we had Selena and, and Ivy kind of, go stay at Barbara's house. You know, which we had already talked about that phone call. You know, that was... It was very humorous from Hilarious. from Ivy's end. But I like it. I said, it, it made me feel a little bit bad for for Barbara at that point. Like, her, her life is hit rock bottom. Just when no. you think she's already hit rock bottom, now it's even further rock bottom. I can't have any sympathy for her because there's... No reason that we can see why she would leave Gordon in the first place. That's why I said almost. You gotta, you gotta almost. remember. I said almost. But yeah, almost felt bad up. for her. And then she's getting mad see, over things that are not proof. Right. Yeah. Well, okay. and then like I don't think it's rock bottom until she's sleeping on a mattress in an alleyway. So when that happens, uh, but Selena's yeah, doing that, and she's person. not at rock she bottom. She can start climbing back up. Yeah, but Selena's right. doing that. She's yeah. not at rock bottom, so she's still better off than Barbara. That's true. Right. So one. 
Ivy's doing even better, and she's sleeping in a freaking cardboard box. <laughs> yeah, and she's uh, yeah. sick and, you know, all and, kinds of... And she got more character development. <laughs> she re- she's been in three episodes. Three. Right. And maybe for a grand total of ten minutes. But she's collectively. 11. <laughs> and she got better character development. Mm-hmm. But that, that yeah. leads me to the question. Barbara is calling her own house to try to talk to Gordon. Not calling the police department where he's supposed what? to be working. Or his she, cell phone. Oh, yeah. She's calling her own house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's because she's... Does, re- does Gordon even have his own place? No. No. I don't think I don't so. Think so. I think the reason the, the apartment was abandoned, the loft was abandoned, and the, like, the food went bad was because Gordon's been sleeping at the Our, asylum at the he, facility he's yeah. just been yeah. so busy right he couldn't he's been doing go. overnights yeah i mean yeah. there are showers and things there so he doesn't right. actually have to go home no and it's probably it's more convenient yeah <laughs> and he's a minimalist he doesn't need that much yeah exactly. but just i was like gordon doesn't even have his own place like he just moved in with with barbara it's like really Poor like, life decisions yeah i don't i mean i guess he can afford the Apartment. I don't know. Seems like it'd be a lot for rent. He could sleep in a cell at night. I mean, there's a huge clock. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, on his own, I don't think he could afford that loft. I don't think he could afford it. No way, especially in a city like that. Not that that loft. No, but I I I think he could afford a little little apartment somewhere. If you say ran an art gallery, you could afford that. Yeah, I mean, he could afford a little shithole apartment somewhere. He could talk to uh, Falcone if he really wanted to, which, you know, he's super against Falcone. He wants to bring him down. But he could be like, hey, Falcone, can can you hook yep, me up with a place? place? Yeah. I need a place to sleep. And Falcone would do it, too, you know, because <laughs> he wants Jim yeah. in his pocket. Preferably not sleazy. Thank you. <laughs> Although we didn't see Falcone this episode, either. We didn't. We got a lot of Fish Mooney, though. Um, yes, we we see a lot of uh, plans with her. She's she's making moves quickly now. Yes. Yeah. You know, it's, it's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Crunch time. It is. Like, now I know what's going on. And and her right hand man, which I forget his name, but um, Butch. 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 You, even Butch. when you think he's gonna turn on her. Yeah. He doesn't. He's her I was little hoping he would. Dog. Nah. So disappointed. I think he has. I really do. He, ha- I think he has a desire to rule, to run the family. Himself. Deep down, I could see I that he does. too. I think he but does. I think that's what he's trying to do. Is is yeah. he's gonna take all these guys out for her, and then he's gonna betray her, when yeah. when she's at the top. I don't know. She is she is feisty and resourceful. So if he turns on her, I don't think it's gonna go well for him. No, it's definitely not. No, no. but as much as I, I love him as a character, I think he's great. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's cool. But, I don't know, I, I was saying this to Christy before, but, like, I'm getting a little sick of fish, and yeah. I don't know why, but it's just, like, I'm, like, sick of the, I'm gonna take everyone down, and then you're gonna respect me. <laughs> it's a lot of the same over it's, and over again. Yeah. There's, there's yeah, no development, there's no... something instead right. of saying do. And like, yeah. Right. But then it's on that same note, me. she's playing the long game. She is. But it's like, and it's coming to a head. She's but doing the head. like the reconnaissance work. Like she's getting all the but info it, out from everybody, so then she could strike. So it, it's led right. her to be a little bit boring. But I feel like we could have just done without her in a lot of these episodes That's and got more out of it. Is we didn't need to see. We don't need to see her this much. Like right. she's not doing anything that warrants her having so much screen time. It's true. I guess. Yeah. I mean, even there's a lot of buildup for what's to come, but they don't. You're right. They don't need to show. Like, no, it's like, shit or get off the pot. Like seriously, I'm it. tired of it. I mean, even the penguin, right? Like he was in for a little bit. You know, it was enough though. It's enough to. I, I think we would have been jaded to not have the penguin at all. You know, because he's been such a huge character at this point that we just had to have a little taste of him. Right. Can and... we talk about the penguin in this episode? Huh. Can we talk about the penguin in this episode? We're talking about him right now. Because when Maroney called him a monkey, yeah. the look on his face was like, That's not when I, I kill you, it will not be quick. <laughs> <laughs> He's in it is going to go bad for Maroney. He's going to go ape shit. Yeah. It is going to go bad for Maroney. Well, look at him. He pl- he's. You didn't, you didn't like my monkey pun? 
Sorry. He's no, I, I got it, Dom. I was just walking past it. I know you are. He's, he's gonna go Coming back to it. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh. Yeah. It's gonna be a real shit singer when that goes down. He's yes. just crazy. He's crazy. He'll do anything. <laughs> just don't slip on the peel. Yeah. And, and Penguin likes killing too much. He really enjoys murdering people. Yes, you can see it the way he gets joy. He's like <laughs> yeah. genuine joy out of it. But I mean, he did try to double cross Maroni, but this is that's true. At the same point, he's working for Falcone, so. Yeah. He's not really double crossing Maroni. He's just playing Maroni. Playing, right. but Maroni doesn't really know that. Right. So it seems like a double cross. Exactly. But, I don't know. I, I, as much as we didn't actually need the penguin, you know, and we, like, I sound a little hypocritical after just saying the same thing about fish. I feel like seeing the penguin needed to happen this episode. I don't know. I like fish. I'm, I'm down with fish. I like what she's trying to do. I just don't think everything mm -hmm. we've seen of her was necessary. Mm -hmm. so. it, it's also that, like, I know that she's going to fail because she has to. Just because of the, what, you know, just because of how the fail. story has to work. Right. She can fail in a way that will still keep her on the map. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but and I think that's I the know way she's to going to Because no, we, yeah, we know I, she's not going to kill off Falcone. We know that no. for a fact. He's, Maroni's yeah. gonna die. Like I can almost guarantee. Maroni's he's gonna die. Mm -hmm. He's done. I think everything. Take over. Everything that um, Fish is gonna do to try to take over the Empire is just gonna end up helping Falcone more. Mm. Yes. Right. Yeah. So. But I think that plot twist. I can see Fish and Penguin teaming up. Yeah. L like the enemy of. That's why she has that name. <laughs> The enemy of my enemy up again. is my friend. They were. She was, he, he was already kind of working with her in the beginning, and then she right. said, eh, go be off. I'm tired of you. Kill him. Yeah. Well, she, she, yeah, she wanted him dead, like, really badly. <laughs> yeah, really bad. But you really can, very you can dead. see him working it together again. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't even realize this when watching the episode. This is how good it was. Um, me and Cleo were, were talking in pre-show, and we didn't even realized that Bruce wasn't even in this episode. Nope. No Bruce. And that's that's not a bad thing. No. Nope. It's it good. was fine. When when a character's missing and you notice it, that's bad. But when a character's missing and it goes unnoticed, you're like, oh wow. Okay. That is the he perfect point of... Yeah, you didn't need him. There's no no need for him to be in this episode. They didn't try to force it. They, they could have. They could have just showed him still looking at paperwork for his parents' murder. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. but he's... Yeah, murder yeah, he gets he's not like, considered. After a while, it just gets stale. Exactly. So they realized, we don't need this. Cut it. Uh, you know, whatever. It's more the I'm sure there's scenes that filmed, they did a lot of stuff like that that they ended up cutting out, you know? And it seems, for the most part... Um, they've learned quite a lot of lessons, uh, on this show all the way since the beginning. Like, a lot of our nuances, um, we, we're not seeing anymore. Yeah, we're, we're still getting Barbara, but that storyline that's been set up is already perpetually in motion. They can't just, right. like, yank Barbara out. Like, they have that set, it's got, they gotta see that through. Um. Well, they, they can see it through to, you know, quick end here. Right. But some of the other things, like... You know, uh, the way some of the other characters have been portrayed. And I really can't... Because the other one that really bugs me is Nygma. Like, he's 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 almost at Barbara level for me. Almost. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> yes. But <laughs> we haven't seen him this episode yet, either. Right. We see him right. next episode. We know he's in there. So, the thing that's... about Nygma... That's when we're going to be able to judge for sure if they're, if they're following the critics... And they're seeing, oh, this is what people say are wrong. Let's try to fix this. If, if they've done that over the winter break when they did a lot of more filming and, and various things like that, then, um, you know, that, that shows that they're, they're paying attention. Yeah, but... The problem that I had with Nygma was that he was doing... He was like, oh, I have a riddle for you. And then he said something that wasn't a riddle. And I was right. like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. So Do the writers just, not know what a riddle is? So they're just throwing it in there to be like, hey, guess yeah. what this is. So but then he had, like, the scenes with the, 
the secretary, the lady who, who worked at the mm -hmm. precinct, yeah. and some yeah. other scenes where I'm like, okay, he's got some, there's some depth to it. My he's, favorite scene from Nygma was, was, the radio? was the radio. Yeah. That was, that was what, three, four episodes ago? It was... <laughs> It was so yeah. good. He's just sitting there listening to the radio, answering the trivia questions moments before they say him. That's all you need well, out of Nygma. Just show. It was while he was doing something incredibly technical. So he was working while he was like, oh, yeah. Right. Something. Just show his intelligence at this yeah. point. We don't just, need. Um, multitasking to like. Yeah, but he was multitasking to like a T. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where it's like, all right, great. Like now, most people you know, would just focus on one, but he was tactical. You could even and... do minor stuff like have him pick up a Sudoku puzzle or something while he's sitting at a desk and finish the whole puzzle in like 20 seconds. <laughs> you right. know, something very minor like that does not oversell. I'm the Riddler, but yeah, exactly. it shows the hyper-intelligence. I agree. Well, it was also kind of stupid that, oh, let's show the freaking coffee mug with the question mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, was, yeah, I mean, just... It's like, throw it in your face, Riddler. Oh! <laughs> Here's yeah. a picture of the oh, Riddler. Oh, I wonder who you are. Oh, oh. But Riddle me this, Gordon. <laughs> I think I think the most the most important thing in this episode was... Gordon and uh, Harvey getting back together. It was yeah. the most yeah, the adorable thing. Oh, no. It was just like, uh, I was like, oh, boys. He grabbed his face oh, and kissed it. It was the best. Oh, it was the together best. again for uh, the first. <laughs> I mean, even seeing uh, Gordon interact with the, the police chief was, was great, too. Oh, yeah, oh, that was yeah. Horrible. It just shows they still have his back, you know? I don't yeah. know. Right. They have his back, even though he can't work for him. Well, yeah, but it's still support. Like they, we gotta get this guy back in here. Yeah, not gonna happen. Not right now. Not gonna happen. Wait. Yeah, it and it also shows that the the rest of the guys on the the people on the force are just are scared of the mayor. Right. Yeah. They mm -hmm. they won't they don't want to cross the mayor. Who would? I mean, look at some of the shit Jim? that went down already. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, the thing is, if they all stood against the mayor. Yeah. Yeah, well, everybody can't go against the mayor because then what the hell are you going to do? Elect yep. a new mayor. <laughs> One that's I not a scumbag. Suppose. I'm just looking at your at your browser, Dom, and it's just like shocking. Oprah lied. I saw that too. I was like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. The professional thing was to just ignore it, guys, but jeez. Right? We're not right? Way to go. We're not professional guys. I'm sorry, it made me laugh and I had to point it out. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> no. Uh, it I'm made me kidding. laugh. I'm sorry. These things happen. Um But um you guys have anything? Bye, <laughs> you guys yeah, have you anything else for this episode? <laughs> uh, uh Gordon and Dr. Thompson need to bang. Yeah. I think we established that at the beginning. Beautiful yes, they do. Together. Super bros first. Super bros. Super bros. Yeah. I love the end. We'll bang later. It'll happen. Okay. Well, don't they show them making out in one of the like commercials? Do they? Yeah. Probably. Nice. I don't know. It I shows the doctor that. and... Uh, I don't know. I didn't see that one. But if, if that's the case, then the more powers they go. It's like a quick... Yeah. All right. Sorry. I give it uh, two thumbs and a pinky. Because when in doubt, pinky out. That's right. Yes. Yep. Uh -huh. Um. Next week we don't have an episode. Ooh. Yep. Ooh. It's the week Sadness. after. Yeah. Fuck you, Fox. Yeah, the week after we just on a break and you're giving us like a little tease. Oh. It's just like can't do that. Yeah. They did it. They did. They did do it. Uh, two weeks. The episode is called "What the Little Bird Told Him." Uh, in an attempt to get his job back, Gordon seeks to capture Jack Gruber, a deranged electrical genius who escapes Arkham Asylum. Meanwhile, Falcone struggles to hold onto his empire after Fish Mooney makes her next move. So, looks like what Fish has been up to is finally going to come to a head, and yeah. that's going to be exciting. I like yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. That's why they're and it better not be dumb like her weapon. Her, her lady weapon. Oh God, I know that. That was yeah. super dumb. Like I hated that arc. Uh, me too. I was like, yep. really? come on. Oh, the stupid so broad. Yeah. Yeah. She was literally the worst. I mean, I liked her in that, that very that first episode that we met her in, and then it was like everything after that was like, hmm. yeah. And 
you know, I didn't even realize I was the same person in subsequent episodes. <laughs> so I was like, oh, right. Oh, you're that. Okay, got it. <laughs> um, yeah. First, I was like, hey, is all she's good chat? at doing is making cookies. Pretty much, and, and singing Sark- and singing uh, Italian songs that his mother used to sing. But that's and the Sark- thing; she Kate. wasn't the better singer. She only got the job because she beat the shit out of the other girl. It's true. And serving right. tea. That's true. I don't think we've seen the last of her, though, right? I don't know. The no, penguin, like, not. demoralized her completely. He did, but he also said I, he's going to keep an eye on her, and if she let anything slip up, he, was, yeah. he knew where to find her. And he's like, I'll, he, in layman's right. I will fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah. I love that Michelle got right I, I, up in the, the camera to say, I will fucking kill you. I will kill you. No, I have to get something. Oh, bro. Barbara. Well, look, I feel like now, this is my thing. I feel like she's going to come back in in this fish taking over arc and, like, just throw a monkey wrench into something for fish. Monkey wrench? Why are you making penguin references? Because fish doesn't know that. Well, gosh darn it. I don't know. Fish doesn't know the penguin got to her. Right. 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 So Fish still thinks that she's her secret weapon. But she just... So I, I feel like that might come up and yeah. she might do something to, like, just screw her over. Oh, definitely. You know, I really cool. Too. Which yeah. I'm not 100% sure Falcone even fell, a hun- you know, fell for her act. Right, and then that also goes so. to lead us with, with with the penguin. How the penguin's going to tie into all this because we see penguin trying to make big moves too, and yeah. <laughs> he ends up behind bars. Now, Falcone can't exactly bust him out because Maroni intentionally put him there. And if Falcone comes in, goes over Maroni's head, mm-hmm. Maroni's going to know something up with the penguin, and that that kind of yeah. leaves him in a, a vulnerable place. I you know. think somewhere in the middle of the mob war, uh, Penguin's just going to kill Maroney and take his place, just, like, overnight. I think he's got enough support that he can just do it and get away I with it. I wouldn't put it past him. I mean, he'd do it yeah. any, probably anyway. But the the one part about next episode that I'm really looking forward to more is, is Jack Gruber. Like, I want to see more of the electrocutioner and, and just the fact that we're getting a reoccurring villain to carry over like he was the big bad this whole vi- this whole episode he's gonna be again you know next episode i don't want him to die you know was anyone surprised that he was behind everything no no, no. i kind of knew when he was like in being interviewed i was like yeah, something's off here <laughs> my my well, surprise the swede. Like, my surprise was just that there was a reveal after catching the the nurse because i'm looking at my dvr and i'm like wait wait there's only like six minutes left of this episode and they just revealed there's another villain like yeah. what this show doesn't do that red herring yeah Pat so the nurse at first he was like and then it's like oh nope she's trampled oh. you know like the only other one that potentially yeah that was really know, when she got trampled that was like whoa okay yeah, she's well, yeah. I was like, yeah i'm glad that happened i was like later so cool. jerk I mean, we had we had Zaz, right? You, you mentioned Zaz. He's still alive. He's still. We haven't seen him again. But the other, the only other one right. that we we have meant, you know, that we've seen that has the potential to come back. Um, we haven't actually seen him. Is the doll maker? Yeah, know? I can't wait. wait. The doll maker is going to be great. <laughs> yeah, it's so be great. Be, it'd be kind of cool if um, Gruber actually is the ventriloquist, and somehow that gets tied with the doll maker. The that would be neat. Yeah. You know, wait—is the ventriloquist the same thing as the puppet master, or is that no. someone else? No, nope, that's someone else. God damn mm-hmm. it! <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. it's hard to keep track of. The stuff. only one of them I know, like, is the pup. Yeah. The puppet master is the one I'm familiar with. Yep. So, like, I keep yeah. hearing these ones that are close in name, and I'm like, wait, is that the? Is it the same thing? <laughs> close yeah. to it, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that well versed in my Batman. Yeah, I'm, I mean, everything I, was, I know came from the animated series and Justice League Unlimited. <laughs> and everything that I know, I research after watching Gotham. So <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. Really All right, I think uh, that about wraps things up. Um, you guys have anything else uh, you'd like to add? Why do we have to wait two weeks? <laughs> everything gotta be in two weeks. It sucks. Two weeks. When do I get more Barbara? <sighs> in two weeks. Into Guaranteed, or your money back. I really, really want them to kill her off. Hopefully, it happens. Oops, I'm sorry. So, you got to look. Kill a gun war. Oops. Oh. You see how happy Batman is? Don't make him sad, Barbara. Stop it. <laughs> He's so happy right now. 
Yeah. Uh, he's, so he's so happy. That is the happiest so I've ever cute. seen Batman. I don't think I've ever seen Batman smile. Nope. No, this one does. Yeah, that one clearly does. Batman smirks, maybe. Smirks. Bruce, Bruce also smirks. Well, Bruce has to keep up his Playboy image, so he yes. smiles. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Uh, Cleo, where can the people find you? You can find me at Cleomoto, all over the interwebs. All over. All of it. John, where can the people find you and your love for Barbara? Uh, south of my nose. Oh. At no more, no more. <laughs> no more, no more. Are you gonna uh, tweet out a dick pic on the Twitter? <gasps> oh, you know, I don't. I don't think I am. No? I think I'm gonna stop that this year. I think I'm just gonna have to be pictures of Barbara after every show. Oh! <laughs> just see where that gets me. Oh! Because <laughs> at Welcome this point, I need to get no this bitch trending. No more dick pics. All Barbara pics. Yeah. It's just all Barbara. Well, Barbara is a dick, so in terms Right. <laughs> it's really the same thing. <laughs> Barbara is a dick, so we're gonna go with <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah, so, Happy New Year, everyone. I was gonna say I didn't know how you could top Dick Van Dyke. That was that was my favorite. Oh. Of your, your dick pic. That's no, yeah, yeah. I, that I like was my with... that was my free bird, and I was yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Pat Michelle, where can the people find you? Uh, at Michelle on Twitter or Time and Space. No. Mm. Whatever works easier, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just just don't go back in time. You can you can find me down below at Phenomenon. P H P H E N O M E D O M. Phenomenome. D-O-M-E. Dome. Phenomenome. Phenomenome. Phenomenome piece? You forgot the E. Yes. No. <laughs> you can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, G+. <coughs> and uh, right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. I really need to get that cough looked at. Yeah. Um, you do. Until... Two weeks from now, which is what? Two weeks. January. Today's the. Uh, I don't. I hate math. Nineteenth. Twenty-first. Nineteenth. January nineteenth. Fourteenth. The twenty-first. We'll see you guys later. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no. Peace out. Mo mo blah blah. Mo blah blah. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Wait, no, no. you need the 21st when you guys taped the Milano now, actually. <laughs> <laughs>